Hello, everybody, hey. and <laughs> welcome back to Outcast Studios. Welcome back to Anadonia. What? Oh, God. I couldn't get out. <laughs> How did you get in? You know the holes there. Oh, I don't know. I just oh kind of saw it, and I, I just wanted to jump in. Wait, welcome back to Anadonia. I'm joined by Ruby, as usual. I'm the Drifter, if you didn't already know that for some reason. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're back. We're, we're still stranded on this, this planet. Um, when we last left off, uh, I managed to get myself a rune forge, and uh, we'd, we'd finished constructing the, the Tinker Smelter. Isn't that right? Yes, and I've managed to lose myself in a cave and black out and come back here. Which is wonderful. Yeah, he, he he blacked out in a in a blind rage, came home, punched a grandma, uh, and then just passed out in the bed. Yeah, is is this what remains for the grandma? This is the <laughs> altar that we pray to the grandma on. So I'm I'm gonna put a wilderness horn on here, just cause like I only recently figured out you can put stuff on it. I don't know what it does. Ooh. And I have oh, a feeling I, if I put the wrong thing on it, it's going to explode. But, uh, I um, just right-clicked it and my entire game just... <laughs> <laughs> well, should... you took the horn, so good job. Um, yeah. But yeah, when we um... last left off, um, we'd got this, we'd got the smelter. <laughs> we'd, we'd got the waystone. Uh, we'd named it Shit Shack after the glorious Shit Shack. So what should we do today? What sort of progress do you want to make? Well, see, uh, because we I'm, still have this iron stuck in here. Yeah, we need to we yeah. need to get a full block out of this. But other than messing with the smeltery, what's next on the agenda? What do we need to do next to try and figure out either where we are or how to get away from where we are? I think the next step is to find some way to defend ourselves from all these hostile creatures because you know it, it's great that we've got like you know foundry and all that sort of stuff i'm, I'm gonna be real the, yeah. the, those wolves they're still pretty scary right oh, they're still yeah. pretty scary definitely and you know what we we don't we, we don't want to die on this planet like that that'll be a horrible way to go nobody will ever find us the intergalactic union will completely collapse and you know like every everything's it'll go shit up we don't yeah that. Yeah, there's there's absolutely no one around to find us at all. Yeah, there's there's no inhabitants uh, that that we know of on this fucking planet. Come here, you little shit. You should know. Tell you fucking you, llamas as well. Drift. You should know by now. The native population aren't real people. <laughs> Careful. It's starting to sound very dictatory there. Uh, I'm sorry. Sometimes that just happens. You know, like. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it, it I've, I've come across many a dictator in my travels. Trust me, you're not the fucking worst. Yay! Right. So I think if if we wanna if we wanna defend ourselves better, we should probably build better defenses than the shit shack because as it stands, we've got nothing to light up the surrounding area. We've got no fences. We've got we've got we've got no no guns or or anything like that. <gasps> Do you think we can get turrets? It's a possibility. I have no idea what the fuck you can find on this planet. Um, sentry turrets, gun turrets, chem thrower turrets, and spell turrets <gasps> all exist. Let's create chemical warfare with the RNBs. The RNBs? The RNBs. Oh, RNBs. the R. You mean the RGB? Yes, the RGBs. What the I, fuck I... is an RNB? Wolf, wolf, wolf. Bat thing, wolf creature, bat fuck. Can you wait? Can you not just prance about the flowers and help me? <laughs> Why isn't it attacking me? Because Are you friendly? No! Oh no, my god, god, it flies, it flies, it flies, it flies. What I the told you it flies. Yeah, but I've never seen it fly before. That was fucking terrible. This is why we need defenses. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we right. need some World War style fucking anti air over here. You know what the World War <laughs> is? I know World of Wars. Fair I enough. I don't know which one you're on about. Uh, there are many <laughs> there are many a world, there are many a wars. Pick one. Um The cool one with like the spiders. That's like disgust. 
you you can't put cool war and spiders oh, in yeah. the same they're suit. Like, they were like fifty foot tall. Are you thinking about the spiders on Arachnus Five? Yeah. I actually no. I, I think it was Arachnus, Arachnus Four. Arachnus 5 I think it was oh, Arachnus, Arachnus 4. Four. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not as bad sense. as. Ar I, I don't expect you to know about Arachnus Five, but Arachnus Four, yeah, that's common knowledge around yeah. these parts. Clearly. I don't know how I know that, considering amnesia, but you know. I don't know. I, th I think knowledge is slowly coming back over time. <laughs> <laughs> knowledge? What's that? I, I only know, I only know, um, dumbassery. Mm -hmm. Yes. I know, <laughs> I only know impotency. <laughs> okay. Mm. Right, I don't want to. I don't want to build on the shit shack, like I said. But I also think we should find a way to encase the uh, the furnace. Yeah. Oh, I remember what we were gonna do. See, what? the amnesia hasn't all kicked in yet. Uh, we were supposed to be clearing out an area for us to build something slightly bigger than just the shit shack. Oh yeah, back here. Uh yeah, either like back there. Or I think we were talking about like maybe on top of one of these hills and have like a really good view on places, but that's really hard to like build on. Oh yeah. So do you yeah. wanna do you wanna build behind us then, or do you wanna build on top of a mountain, or do you wanna flatten the mountain? You know what? I think we should flatten it by like two blocks. Like if we did it on like that one there, we've got like the beautiful view of like the forest over there, the shitty swamp, wherever yeah. this is. I mean, it would provide us with a tactical advantage. I mean, the yeah, high ground is always the best ground to get. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If we get some of those, those cool defenses up. Okay, so we have a plan. We need to get better defenses. We need to uh, flatten the mountain by two blocks. And mm. give me a third thing. You know, I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna leave that one to you, Bill. Okay, 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 okay. But yeah, um, kind of a tangent. Speaking of World Wars, <laughs> that's such a shit segue. But, um, I've recently had my interest spiked in, like, uh, the World Wars because, um, I, I don't know what it is about certain, like, songs or whatever. But you know how certain songs can, like, really inspire you and stuff? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, the, there's the band Sabaton, for example. I oh, I fucking you know love Sabaton. Yeah, fucking Sabaton, however you say it, right? Some of their songs, absolute bangers. Love them, listen to them on repeat. But the BTEC Sabaton, which is horrible history, right? <laughs> Stay with me. They have a song about RAF pilots during the Battle of Britain. Oh, um, yeah. Do you remember that one? Yeah, po uh, Polish. Uh, yeah, Polish and Czech, Czech and people like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was listening to that song on repeat for about two days straight because there's just something about that song that really made me feel like I could, like, fucking kick Hitler in the balls, even though he's long dead. Mm, well, I mean, which one, though? Like, the one that's, like, kind of rolling around, or... You what know. do you mean? You don't know Hitler only had one ball. Oh, yeah, I know Hitler only had one yeah. testicle. But what do you mean yeah. by fucking rolling around? Clearly, like, the other one has to be somewhere. He might be a bit depressed and just wandered off. Maybe he invaded Poland just so then he could go find it again. Unless someone surgically attached Hitler's missing testicles themselves, that thing has long since fucking died and decomposed. Alright? You, you, you don't know. Maybe it's like in a pickle jar somewhere. You don't know what the fuck Gerbot was up to. I defy <laughs> you to find me the person that pickled Hitler's mission <laughs> test. I mean, I would, but I'm pretty sure most of them were killed during the war trial. <laughs> the war trials. <laughs> war trial? <laughs> the war trials. War trial? Oh yeah, the war trials, not the war trials. Uh, oh my god. But yeah, that, that song just got me really into, like, you know, history for, like, two days straight. Uh, and I, I really, I, I really got into like the the wartime. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I guess, I guess the best way to explain it would be like wartime superhero tales, like the Super tales of things that were like almost impossible to yeah, the point where you couldn't believe they actually happened. Kind of like and the I, snowman in Finland who just fucking destroyed Soviets. I think I know which one you're on about. Is that the dude that, like, marched through the tundra, like, delirious for several days and still survived? No, no, no. It's, it's the guy who was an ex-World War One soldier. 
the mm. Soviets were marching into uh, Finland. Uh, so he got redrafted because of his previous experience. And instead of getting like a new model gun, he just used his old World War One M- M1 Grand or something like that. And he just sniped Soviet soldiers. Like his amount of confirmed kills was something like 51 confirmed kills. Uh, but at the same time, he was a sniper who just picked off Soviet soldiers. So we don't actually know the amount of people he murdered. That couldn't oh, be damn. confirmed. Because those are the amount of people where he's completely kept, taken out a squad and can physically yeah. go and confirm that they're dead. Like, well, um, that's really impressive, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I like that sort of thing. I like the idea of this dude who's been in, like, uh, uh, this massive battle bringing back the gun that he won it with to fight another fight. You know, there's something about that tale that sounds really heroic. Um, but the one that I was thinking of, and the one that I want to bring up, is... I don't remember the name of it, because it was this really stupid fucking name. But there was this castle. Uh, it, this was, like, come the end of the war. Like, oh. the war had already been over. But there was this garrison of SS troops, basically, that had thrown their, thrown themselves in with a, a local villager's, like... I, I guess militia, you could call it? To, to, to try and continue the fight. And yeah. this group of French, uh, really important people, like an ex-prime minister and uh, a, a tennis player and shit, teamed up with a bunch of former Nazis and uh, some Americans stationed at the castle to fight them off. And, like, there's, there's a whole transcript of the battle, and it genuinely sounds like a movie script. Like, there's, there's one thing I remember reading specifically that sounds so much out of a movie. Basically, the tennis player, like, vaulted a bunch of walls to get up close and personal with, like, the, the, the attacking SS troops and just fucking took them out that way. <sighs> yeah, it's... It's like that proper ragtag final stand feel, you know? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Like, those, those kinds of things, like... Yeah. They really tickle me, my fancy, too. Like, and it, just... it, it got me... Great. It actually got me researching, um, for some reason, missing planes... Because, um, I don't know if you remember, since it was like a couple of months back, but we were brainstorming ideas on a series, like a, a Minecraft roleplay series. Not like this, oh, yeah, yeah. but like a, a proper cinematic oh. style one, right? You remember it. Yeah, 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 yeah I remember. Um, I've always wanted a scene in that where the main character and the main character's like, I guess you could say, guiding, uh, guiding hand character, which is like this old dude get sent back in time to when the old dude was in the war. Um, and I just, I wanted to incorporate a bit of real world history into it. So I wanted to try and find an instance where a plane was reported as just going completely missing, but I couldn't find one. So since you're a history buff, you're, you're more the history buff than I am. I was wondering if you knew of any instances like that. Uh, see, when you're talking about, like, missing planes, the first one that kind of sparks to my mind is, ironically, Amelia Earhart, whose plane was recently found. Mm. But, okay. So, essentially, yeah, she went missing around Bermuda, started up the whole, you know, Bermuda Triangle stuff, okay? Yeah. But something that you might not quite know is that her body was found, well, a body was found, and a similar model airplane was found crashed on a island. Wasn't it rumored that she got eaten? By coconut crabs, yes. Yeah. Because those little things, okay, they're really, really cute. They're like these massive coconut crab uh, coconut crabs, they're these massive crabs. They normally sustain themselves on like fruit and berries and stuff. But they have like a natural cycle, like I think it's every like fortnight or something, uh, which is just called a feeding frenzy, where they'll literally get up starving eat a shit ton of everything they can find and then mm. just become passive again for like the next few weeks yeah and uh, it's rumored that um she was caught up in one of these feeding frenzies after being stranded on the island for a certain amount of time because the uh, population of coconut crabs on that island was really high that's got to be a horrible way to go i can only hope she was like unconscious when the coconut crabs found her because imagine being eaten alive by those fuckers i mean the thing is is that i like coconut crabs i think they're really really cute but at the same time they're so terrifying they are literally like god's answer to people with spider phobias yeah well not really spider phobias because they don't really look like spiders they're just like they're like massive uh, i can't say massive crabs but they are they're just 
massive round crabs, and like, yeah, you know, maybe you're scared of spiders, you'll be scared of them. But they're so fucking cute, though. They got like, the cute little eyes, and like the mm. big little claws, and like they eat berries and stuff, and like nuts and coconuts with these massive pins. Yeah. That's so cute. But like, you know, you kind of want to put them in a cage and never let them out. <laughs> <laughs> You, you know when all these environmentalists say like, oh, don't kill the animals, we don't want them to go extinct? Um, they're the exception. No, 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 I, I don't want them to go extinct. I, I personally love- I would, I would have a coconut crab as a pet. You are a very strange boy, Ruby. You are a very strange- 